Hello everybody. I'm Christina speaking from behind the camera here. And this is Catherine with me here today. We're standing right now in front of the Ridgeway Visitor Center that you all are used to entering the garden through. But what we're gonna do today is we're going to take you from the Ridgeway Center over to our new visitor center to show you how to enter the garden through our new temporary entrance. So again, right now we're in front of Ridgeway and we'll walk over with you to show you how to get in through the new temporary visitor center. So once you walk up to the Ridgeway Visitor Center or drive up as you're used to, you're going to take a left and just follow these garden entry signs. And you'll see here there's some construction fencing and this sign labeling the Jack C. Taylor Visitor Center project. And once you get past this area here and round the corner, that's when you're going to be here at our new temporary entrance. So this temporary visitor center is part of the final Jack C. Taylor Visitor Center project. So eventually this building is going to be the events center when the project is completed. But we wanted to make sure that you guys had a great entrance the whole time throughout the whole construction project. So this part of the project was completed first. And while we're working to change and take down Ridgeway, this is going to be where you're entering through in the meantime. So you can see here to your left, we have a spot where you can pull around to drop off any friends or loved ones that might have mobility issues. So up here, there's this little roundabout area And you can see that here is where the accessible ramp is. So we'll walk up this way because the stairs are a little easier to find, but we'll show you how to get in through the ramp. And again, for anyone who's just tuning in, we are now entering the temporary visitor center. And if you drive in like you're used to and you're facing Ridgeway, this is to the left of that visitor center. So this is where you will enter the garden during the day, during this current phase of construction. And just like Ridgeway has, we have the automatic doors. Right here, you'll be confronted with this sign that shows you where you can get your tickets. And here is the ticketing counter right here and the membership counter. So this is where you'll come in the new temporary visitor center to get tickets or if you have any questions about your membership or you can see that umbrella there if you are coming to pick up a membership gift. And I just want to stop here for a second because um, we have a question about the Chihuly. So that's going to be moved into the Climatron while the Ridgeway Visitor Center is taken down. So that's not going anywhere. It'll still be part of the garden. And we're going to take it down and clean it off and then it will be hung up in the Climatron. So I'm just going to pan around here for a second before we get closer to show you some specifics so that you can see this space. And again, this is the temporary visitor center to the garden that will eventually become the event center in the Jack C. Taylor Visitor Center project. You can see um, for 
for now, the, the floors are more of a temporary nature and then, uh, some of the temporary structures and that will all be finished out uh, in phase three of our Jack C. Taylor Visitor Center project when we make this the event center. So here, let's take a closer look at our gift shop. This is moved over from the Ridgeway. Yeah, and if you're looking to get a head start on your holiday shopping, they've already got a lot of great goodies out here. Yes. And over here, just past the ticket encounter in the gift shop, this is where the restrooms are going to be. We have a drinking fountain over here as well. And then next to the gift shop is where our dining option is right now. So this isn't a full-fledged sassafras at the moment, but this is where you can get some food while this temporary visitor center is running. Yes, let's see. Sandwiches that look pretty good. Yeah. So you can see we have sandwiches, salads, desserts. So a great selection here, including some of your favorites from Sassafras. And I love the lighting in here. It's so bright and nice. It's yeah, and this kind of gives you a glimpse of what the final Jack C. Taylor Visitor Center will look like. This wall of windows here, that will be around the whole Jack C. Taylor Visitor Center, and it will just be lots of bright, lovely, natural light. And so we're looking out on the plaza here, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. We'll go outside and show you guys that up close. But first, I want to take you over to see this model of what the final project will look like. So if you're here, this is a great place to stop by and take a look at how the project is coming. You can see right here, this is the building that will eventually replace the Ridgeway Visitor Center. And this over here, this is where we are right now. So this is, again, the temporary visitor center currently for this phase of the project, but eventually that's going to be an event center. And there's more here on this wall, a little bit more about the project. The current footprint of the Ridgeway Visitor Center um, and then how this will expand and be a larger area. Um, and as you can see, it will include the, a new conservatory that'll be Mediterranean plants. Um, you can see where the cafe is, of course, the gift shop, which will have an outdoor plant shop. And then of course, this is the event hall here where we are now, which is currently the temporary visitor center. So this is a really great way to see and kind of compare the current state of things to what will eventually be. And you can see more renderings here of what that visitor center, the Jack C. Taylor permanent visitor center will look like when it's completed. And you can see all those lovely windows and that natural light coming in. So again, I'm just going to pause and pan around here for anyone who's just tuning in. This space that we're in right now is the temporary visitor center that you'll be entering the garden through during the day. We have temporary dining and shopping options, a full ticket encounter over here. And now let's go ahead and step out onto the plaza and we can talk a little bit more about that. So you can see here this reindeer 
which brings me to garden glow. So at night, this is actually where you will be exiting the garden. So it's a little bit confusing. So I just wanted to explain that. So during the day, this is where you'll be entering the garden through this temporary visitor center onto this plaza. But at night, you're still going to enter through the Ridgeway Visitor Center, which you can see over here, just like you're used to for Garden Glow. Enter through Ridgeway, and you'll walk around along that one-way path through the Garden Glow, and it'll naturally lead you here, out this way. But you don't have to worry about that because that one-way path you'll be able to just follow at night once you're here. So the important thing to remember is just if you're here for Garden Glow, you'll enter through Ridgeway. And if you're here to visit during the day, you'll enter through this new temporary visitor center. And eventually this plaza is going to be repaved as well. The asphalt is just temporary. And another thing that I wanted to highlight while we're out here is this new door in the Linnaean house, which was just recently installed. And so eventually when you're entering um, this way, it'll be just a vista, um, you know, looking right out into the garden and you'll be able to walk through the Linnaean house and um, the plantings in there are going to return to its original function as an orangery um, and this is one of our oldest buildings on ground so it will be returning to its original function so again when you're here for garden glow this is how you'll exit So we'll just emulate that process and go back through and back out front for anyone who didn't tune in right away at the beginning so that you all can see the new temporary visitor center from the front. Let's see. Oh, okay. So see, we're still learning too. But Catherine pointed out to me that this is where you'll actually be exiting through. So let me just pause and go over that again since it was even confusing to me for a moment just now. Read the no entry signs that I did not read on those doors over there and learn from my mistake. And you'll guys, you guys will go out through these doors here. those doors will, will actually be open so you can walk around, um, you can stop at the shop, um, things like that. But this is how you'll exit uh, during the day. So I'll give one more view here of the inside. And we'll head out the front here. So I'll pause here for just a second and point out again that this is the area where you can drop off those who have mobility needs. And you can pull around this circle here and you can see that ramp is where they'll be able to come up. And we'll go ahead and continue down the stairs.
and I'll turn around here and show you guys where we just came from. So this here is the front side of that temporary visitor center. And this is where you'll be entering now during the day. So just wanted to give one more view of that and then show again where it is in comparison to Ridgeway Visitor Center that you're used to coming in. Yeah, and as Christina mentioned before, but for those just tuning in, as a reminder, this is just phase one of our project. This is phase one of the Jack C. Taylor Visitor Center project. Phase two will begin in January, and that includes the sustainable demolition of the Ridgeway building and the construction of the new visitor center. And this temporary visitor center you're looking at right now will eventually be the event center. And so that's phase three is to put those finishing touches on to turn it into a gorgeous event center for weddings, corporate events, anything you'd like to host at the garden. So that really concludes our tour, but um, we will stick around for a minute here for anyone who might have questions. If you want to drop those in the comments, We'll do our best to answer them and any that we're not able to get to right now, we'll respond to later. there is more information on our website about the whole project and that's at mobot.org backslash Taylor Center. You can see renderings, the full timeline of the project, um, and uh, you can even see a live construction camera there. So we have a question from Wendy asking why are we demolishing Ridgeway Visitor Center? Yeah, so uh, Ridgeway Visitor Center opened in 1982 um, and the garden has changed a lot since then. Um, I believe we welcomed about 250,000 visitors a year at that time and now we welcome over a million visitors a year. Um, and so it's simply we out outgrew the space and we wanted to be able to offer a larger space and just accommodate all of the needs of our visitors and be able to offer this lovely uh, new welcome experience that we'll have at the Jack C. Taylor Visitor Center. And just to reiterate again while, while we're waiting for more questions, um, Garden Glow is open to the public and to all of our members now. And so if you haven't seen this new space yet, that would be a great time to celebrate the holidays with your family and give you a chance to come see this new temporary visitor center. And your chance to get a final look at Ridgeway. Yes. Looks like we don't have too many more questions rolling in. Oh wait, here's one from Bob. So he's wondering how will the sustainability aspect come into play and what exactly does that entail? Um, so that's definitely a key focus for the project. Um, that website I mentioned before, mobot.org backslash Taylor Center, will have a lot more information about the sustainability aspect, but just know that is a top priority in the project um, and a top priority always for the garden. And when will the demolition start of Ridgeway? Uh, that will happen in January. 
So again, we'll still be using Ridgeway Visitor Center during Garden Glow. So if you come through Glow, that will be sort of your last chance to see it. And it looks like we don't have too many more questions coming in right now. But if you do tune into this tour later, feel free to drop a question in the comments and we'll keep up with those questions and answer you. So thank you guys for tuning in today. We're really looking forward to sharing this new space with you and to seeing you at Garden Glow this holiday season. And we'll see you soon for another virtual tour.